why should someone go to Nicaragua? There are a lot of answers to that question, but but to sum it up in just a few little bullet points, right? Nicaragua is really raw. Uh, that's the word I use for it. It's raw. It's modern in the ways that we care about. It's got great internet. The, the roads are really good. You can get kind of the kinds of things that you need if you live there or you're, you're an extended tourist, right? But you will also see people on a horse-drawn carriage going down the road or an ox cart or cattle coming across the road or real cowboys driving cattle through the fields and across the roads. And so you've got this real mix of new and old, but it's it's raw. You don't see a lot of brand name businesses. I mean, yeah, there are McDonald's, a few McDonald's is around and things like that. But generally, it's mom and pops. It's little stores by the side of the road. And it is the kind of place that for me, when I'm there, I just feel alive. I feel the energy. I feel the warmth of the people. And I know that there's just this springing of opportunity. You can see opportunity growing (laughs) right before your eyes. It's exciting and it's exuberant. So for me, the rawness is refreshing, unlike the suburbs or or many of the places that we travel. I travel quite a bit. I've, I've, I've traveled a lot, as a matter of fact, for pleasure and for business. But Nicaragua really has captured my heart in a way that Almost no other location has. Before we got on, I was talking about traveling the Silk Road to the western Mm -hmm. parts of China and being in Namibia. Those two places share a lot of the same commonality for me. I was in Cambodia last year. Again, finding places that are up and coming, not really super touristy Mm -hmm. yet, but comfortable places to travel. And, And Nicaragua is also a very comfortable place to travel. It's kind of a weird juxtaposition of raw and refreshing and, and exuberant, but also comfortable. That's not a combination you find very often, but I find that to be the case. And I find that when we've invited people to come visit us down there, they also have that similar kind of feeling. Excellent. And what kind of itinerary would you recommend for someone who